What's up guys, Anthony here and welcome back to Spy X Family Mission 3. Let's do this. Alright guys, so in our last chapter, which was on Wednesday, we met Yor. She's an assassin, certified badass. Her, Yor and Twilight got married. Now from what we can see on this first page here, it was like Yor is moving in with Twilight and Anya. This is going to be awesome. This is going to be great. I cannot wait. Let's go, guys. All right, so mission three, 128 Park Avenue, capital city of Berlin, the People's Republic of Austenia. Okay. Note about the uh, sleeping arrangements. Separate rooms, of course. We'll share one for appearances when company visits. Welcome to Anya's house. Thank you, Anya. It's lovely. This address is a home to a very unusual family. The father, a spy. The mother, an assassin. The daughter, a telepath. And the thing I love, the dynamic that I'm loving right already, guys, is the fact that none, the only one who knows everything is the daughter. She's the only one that knows everything. Twilight doesn't know that um, Yor is an assassin and Yor doesn't know that Twilight is a spy. I'm so happy to have a mama now. I'll help. So, uh, a mama? Oh, I meant to tell you. And she's like, oh! <laughs> she's like, oh! She's like so happy. I pulled in a favor from a friend at the courthouse and got our marriage backdated a year. Actually, it's just forged. I'll come up with an excuse for your brother about why we haven't been living together. Okay. After all, Ian and Carrie would find it mighty suspicious if we'd married right before the interview. Now that I've secured, now that I've secured, secure, now that I've secured my boss, the shopkeeper's permission, I've got nothing to worry about. A man, a woman, and a child, each seeing something to gain from this sham, uh, this sham arrangement. And then we've got Anya go, so cool! <laughs> I love Anya, man. Anya's like the best character so far. Now all three live under one roof, each concealing their true nature from their fake family. Oh, oh yeah, no, those are all my poison wounds. She's like, Dah! <laughs> so you got bedroom two, bedroom one, we've got Twilight taking some... She's like, oh, crap! Now that we've sorted out the boxes, shall we practice for the interview? Like, fuck so it! Like, they're like, we wanted it all nice and clean. <laughs> I just got like a little thorn and say, yay! <laughs> I love it. So we got uh, Twilight with the glasses, we got the head back and everything. Goes, I'll ask the questions. Anya, what do you do when you're not in school? Since Papa leaves me home alone, I watch the TV and feel sad. No, not a good impression. Miss Forger, please describe your parenting style. Uh, um, well, first strike, strike hard, no mercy. This woman raised her brother into a respectable citizen? Well, this is others, we'll never pass the enemy. So much for Eden Academy, I'll find another way. So, Look, wait, don't forget how much she's meant to your wife. Maybe it was too soon even for a mock interview. All right, we're going out. First, let's broaden our horizons. We need the cultural knowledge that is common to the upper class. Plus, the three of us need shared experiences. Family outing, yay! Family outing, yay! <laughs> the word is outing. Mama, will you hold my hand? Oh, I would like that very much. I'm glad to see them getting along so well, at least. Oh, her hands are so cute and tiny. It takes me back to when I used to hold my little brother's hand. He, he was delicate like this too. The one time I hugged him too hard, I actually broke two of his ribs though. She's like, yeah, I better be careful. She's like, oh crap. Oh, we have, I expect to do this. She's like, Tah! Anya, but where exactly are we going? I get all sorts of free tickets thanks to connections at work. All right, so it looks like they've gone to the opera. Tradition and social status are highly valued at Eden Academy. We must become accustomed to the finer things of our lack of refinement could expose us. So we got, <laughs> uh, all right, on to the next. So we got Lloyd, he's like, yes, this is good. I'm just like, <laughs> and then we got, um, you're like, oh, what's going on here? I know I live. 
It's weird. But anyway, let's keep going. Olive's my little dog, if you're wondering. She's just like sitting just underneath our camera view. So it looks like we're in an art gallery. We must become accustomed to fine art and the like. Papa, boobies, I can see your boobies. <laughs> Papa, look, someone stole its head. <laughs> She's like, you got, um, you're staring at like, it's like a guillotine, it's like the guillotine. You're? She's like, oh. We in the nation. Nationalist Party believe there's no path to reconciliation with the West. So we got a political thing. Patriotism is a part of the curriculum at Eden. We will, we will, we will, we need to be well versed in politics, history, and more like, more like a peace, man. Just bomb ourselves back to the Stone Age. Ah, the, ah, the, all the thing. The, Get out of here, traitor! And she's like, I don't like this place. So they got a little scary, didn't it? Let's find some place she can rest. I'm hungry. What? I thought you were tired. <laughs> I like that. So it looks like we're having food. It's like, man, man, man. I eat. No, I need eat the whole thing. Don't just pick off the nuts and use a fork. <laughs> She's just picking off the peanuts. You're, you're, you're coming off a little. She's stroking a knife. Never mind. In my 10 odd years as a spy, I've undertaken countless missions. But this is the first time I've ever felt truly hopeless. Don't worry about it, Papa. <laughs> what? Uh, have I chosen the wrong people? No, relying on strangers was an unworkable idea to begin with. A spy shouldn't, should, shouldn't entrust the success of his mission to others. I can't depend on the judgment of amateurs. I need to go back to fundamentals. I need a meticulous plan. One that takes into account every aspect of the of the situation and every possible contingency. So that means anticipating every possible question that might be asked in the interview. I can prepare perfect answers for each to memorize, or perhaps we can engineer some sort of system where I can feed the answers to them. No. Neither of those strategies are realistic either. He's like, mm, he's just mumbling doing that. Um, Lloyd, maybe we should get some fresh air. Okay. Wow. So it looks like they're, in, they're like, um, looks like they're they're in a park. And they've got a big view of all over the city. The people look like trash from up here. Where'd you learn that? <laughs> I had no idea such a park existed just outside of town. I don't come here often myself, but sometimes I wander over when I'm exhausted from my job. When I remember that what I do is helping all these people, it makes me think, let's get back to work. Oh, but you probably find this place dreadfully dull. I'm sorry. I like it. No crowds. And he's like, yeah, no crowds. This is awesome. <laughs> all right. So we've got kids. Hmm? We've got a, a granny there. It looks like a guy walk. Ah, so we got a, he took my purse. Huh? Somebody help. So we've got a purse snatcher. She should have been more careful. She's like, Foosh! You'll pay for that thief! And yours is like, Watch! She's like ninjaing down the, like, doof, 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 down the thing. Oh, well, guess I'd better. T -t -t. She's like, huh, I lost him already? Ugh. Are you alright, man? Did he hurt you? I'm okay, just a few scrapes. I'm going to catch up, and then I'll take you to the hospital. Oh, thank you, dear. Oh, I left Lloyd and Anya behind. All right, so, so we got um, Lloyd, he's like, ding! We've got like a clock, excuse me, it'll be like his, uh, well, it wouldn't be his ring, because it'll be, oh wait, no, it would be his ring, clanging on the bar, to, he melted into the crowd. Then we got just chat, like, like people talking in there. I hate to say it, you all, but we're, but we have little hope of finding him now, so he's a crackle. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's dying. That's a lot, oh, so cute. Look out, it's leaking. Hmm? Come on, not this again. So she's like, uh, so she's getting a little. So it looks like uh, Anya's, when she's in a crowd, obviously it overwhelms her. He's, I know, I live, I know. It overwhelms her, and basically when it overwhelms her, she gets like a nose She's like, uh, right? it's too much for her. My feet are, maybe a million down from the sky will fall. That shop clerk is so cool. Ugh, he's late. Uh, did I pay the rent? I, I've had it up to here with this kid. I'm gonna kill that guy. Maybe I'll ask her. I can't believe I failed the test again. <laughs> Man, that old lady was loaded. Papa, what now? 
Buy me a cake. What? We just left the restaurant a few. Huh? It's him. You can't fool me, pal. You may have changed your clothes, but it's not so easy to change your gait. So gait's obviously your walking stride. All right. Lloyd. Yo, watch out for me. <laughs> With this kind of cash, I'll be living large for weeks. I think I'll start with a nice dinner. So we got, we got, so we got like a two. So we got, yo, he's launched himself through the air. It's like, bang! It's like, up and wide, scumbag. Dinner is served. And he's like, bang! He just knocked him out. I don't know. It's like, a spy must never draw attention to him. It's like, it was like, huh? This man stole an old, an old woman's purse. Somebody please get the police here to arrest him. Thank you. He's like, yep. So, I was going to give that money to my grandchild. Okay. Thank you so much. What would I have done without you? She, oh, well, she's like shaking your hands like, yeah. It's like, it was actually my uh, husband who got your purse back. Don't look at me. I never would have pursued him if not for you, y'all. Thank you, sir. You're a good man. Like I said, you are heroes without shadows. You and your fellow agents do great deeds that never see the light of day. Thank you. Hmm? Okay. Well, I suppose there's nothing wrong with a little gratitude now and then. <laughs> so, Papa's a softy. <laughs> I love it. I, we can see Anya's um, uh, thoughts. Thank you, you're so, uh, still shaking her hand. Today, really po Hello, Olive. This is my little girl, Olive. Yes, she's uh likes all the attention. Let's just say that, isn't that right, little gear? No, huh? off you go. All right, then you go. All right, today really put my mind wind put the wind back in my sails. Now I know what you mean by let's by that let's get back to work feeling. But bye, mama, gonna kiss. We yeah, are not. That's not true. <laughs> like mm. <laughs> they're all embarrassed. Why doesn't anyone thank me? Fair point, if it weren't for your stomach, we wouldn't have spotted the culprit. Nice week. <laughs> so the granny's just laughing at her. What a wonderful family you are. Here, have some candy as your work. Candy? Say thank you. So it looks like you, uh, Anya got a little bit of candy. Hey, man, I want hot coca. I'll make you some. First, let's take another pause at these interview questions. All right, Anya, what do you do on your days off? I go to the opera and art museum and eat at the restaurant. Exactly, good. Whatever they ask, just remember what we did today. Okay, next question. If you saw a friend do something bad, how would you react? i jump him and make him eat pavement. <laughs> yeah, let's try to forget that part of today. <laughs> I was about the first time, this is horrible, it's like, ugh. <laughs> but, you were so cool, Papa. He was pretty cool, wasn't he? Cause smash! And she's like, yeah! <laughs> I love Anya. <laughs> What a wonderful family you are. Well, I suppose if she saw us that way, then we've made progress. Barely 1% of the way, but progress. Then that, ladies and gentlemen, is Spy X Family Chapter 3. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, smash that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, all that good stuff, and I will see you amazing people on Monday with Chapter 4. Peace, peace.